I would think my role as a father is to be a good example to them all and uh, I've tried as best I can. Obviously I failed very miserably with Julie but the other two are absolutely fantastic um, and, and that's that's just the way it's been I think every time but I had so much fun I think when the three were younger I think I've still had my silly kids hat on even to this day I do some stupid things and I thoroughly enjoy them. They made me feel younger and probably I made them feel older. Um, I think the role that I see my dad playing now is it's definitely changed a great deal um, over the years because now the biggest role that he has in, in my life is, is as a, I was going to say granda, as a grandpa um, to our girls. So it's, it's very different. We see him comes into the house and it's a hi and then it's away with the, the kids and that's the, the main focus now when we're together. It's playing with the kids and entertaining them and spoiling them. and So life's very different now for our relationship um, because now, we now get to just watch them and enjoy um, the girls having all the fun that, that we used to have when we were kids. He's it's never been a fan of boys coming round the house, so we're no different now that we've been married for over 10 years. He's still not keen on them. <laughs> that is not true. They're allowed in the door and that's all we can do. No, it doesn't do. Everything's fine and that. It's great. The family are great. The kids are doing a great job with them. And we love it. My wife and I, we love being the grandparents so much. I think the, best, the biggest and the hardest thing would be actually the father is trying to look after them and make sure they're safe no matter where they are. And that's probably the toughest thing, you know, when your, your kids go away out that front door, doesn't matter who they are and when they are and what time of day it is, you're, you're in here and you're awake until they come home. Um, I think the attributes that I can admire the most in my dad are um, how much of a family guy he is and how much he's kind of instilled a, that the most important thing, no matter where you are and what you're doing, is the people that you've got at home. Um, and I think that's something that in my own life I think I've taken, um, that the number one for me is family and I think that's the, the key to how happy we have all been. I think the fact that my dad was involved in football meant that I got the opportunity to go every school holiday to training. Um, he would be doing kids courses and so I would get the opportunity to do all of that. And I think probably the fact that he was involved in football meant that my love of football grew. Um, but it wasn't anything to do with the fact that my mum or my dad um, were encouraging me to play. They let us pick whatever path we wanted and for me there was something about football that I absolutely loved. It's great, this is quite a football house with Julie playing. We've also got my two son-in-laws who are also played. They played with Kilmarnock at one time and played in many other clubs as well. And, and the strange thing is I don't talk about football. I've never actually given Julie any advice except when I was a national manager and when Julie was a player with the Scottish national team. It was the only time I'd probably spoke to Julie about football. But in the house or at any time, we, we don't discuss it in the house. And of course, people think I'm weird because I don't discuss it because that's my job, but we don't discuss it. No. We're so. not interested in hearing that either. So, so that's just how it goes. If she's needing anything, she always asks me. She used to say things. She would ask me a silly question or a question about football, either driving in the car there or driving in the car coming back. She would ask me a question, how did I do this, Dad? How would I do that, Dad? And that's the only time given advice, and that's been the case with Barry, who's still playing football, and he's 30 odd as well. And no, we don't. Let's just do it yourselves, and if you need help, we're here. They know we're here to help, and that's the biggest thing.